What is going on guys, Kieran here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Premier Edition Bumblebee. Honestly guys, this is the only Last Night figure that I have gotten so far that I really cannot recommend. It's just, he's, he's not good. Like, he's very, very bland in the vehicle mode and in the robot mode. He hasn't been really been painted very well, and I'm, I really don't like this mold in general. I think if you're going to get a Bumblebee figure, wait until, uh, I think it's Wave 3, where they're actually bringing out a brand new mold for Bumblebee that is in the uh, the last night, sort of, in this, this robot mode that's on the box. Because this is a repaint of the Age of Extinction version, and it sucks. I, I don't like this mold. As you can see on mine, it does not pick together like very well at all. You can push as hard as you want on that. That tab is not going to go in. This one's fine. This one is not. Yeah, I don't like. I would feel dirty if I actually like told you guys to go out and spend money on this, because there's a new what there's a there's a new mold coming up in wave three that's just around the corner, and yeah, this guy is not really worth your time. To be completely honest, he doesn't have any any real paint apps on him. Uh, it's just the black on here. That's really it. It's got painted headlights at least, but. Yeah, accessory wise he does come with two ninja stars, I'm guessing that's what they are, I really don't know. He barely, he does, well, I don't think he even uses them in the movie does he? I think they're just on his back, that's really all they do. Um, but yeah, he comes with these, and they are, they're kind of meant to be like his wheels um, in the robot mode, but yeah, they don't really peg in like how they did in the movie back in Age of Extinction, and he's, he doesn't have this design anyway anymore, so there's really no point in getting in getting this figure. If you have the Age of Extinction version, don't spend money on getting this mold because it's not great anyway. And if they're coming out with a new figure, then you may as well just get that. Transformation-wise, this guy is pretty simple. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to these sides here and just sort of split these. And I mean, this one's already done for me. Um, unpeg this whole section here. I need to just sort of peg into the, uh, the grill just like that. What I'm going to do is lift this section up like that, and it just sort of will peg on up there to form his back kibble. Uh, rotate the uh, the windows and the doors in like that, and there you have his arms. Like he's, he's pretty much already done. He's, he's very simple. Uh, we're going to take this section here, fold it forward, and then the grill will sort of come in over his head. It's kind of a pain. There we go. That'll go in over his head. Fold that back in, and there is his chest, and it's kind of like. Okay, is that in properly? Let's make sure it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the way this guy looks. I hate the chest piece as well. Um, split the legs back here. I'm going to rotate them inward like that. Take the feet, fold them out. That's kind of familiar from the uh, the old Bumblebee figures. Rotate this piece back, and then this whole piece will fold back and make his leg nice and clean. I think the legs are pretty cool, just like the way they're done. Um, I mean, yeah, that, that's not too bad. But just everything else about this figure, there's just, I don't know, I do not like this mold. I'm glad I didn't pay extra to get uh, the Stinger figure from Dark, from not Dark Moon, from Age of Extinction, sorry. Um, because I think just the mold in general isn't all that good. But there you have Bumblebee in, I mean, bruh, what is that? So here he is in robot mode. I mean, it's not like the worst I've ever seen, but... I really do not like the design of Age of Extinction Bumblebee, and it's just, I think it's just inherent with this sort of, you know, the design of it. I think Bumblebee and Optimus are a prime example of why the new Transformer designs kind of suck, because they don't translate over to toy form very well. I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, I, I mean I'm probably being way too harsh on it, but I'm just a little bit disappointed because I did have to pay a little bit extra for this to get him on Amazon. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't pay extra to get the, uh, the Stinger mold because the mold itself just doesn't really impress me. These arms are kind of lame, just the way they are. Uh, the chest piece, I mean, I guess it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, the head does have a face mask that can go down and he's actually got an Autobot symbol on the, uh, the head there. And he does have some nice paint details on the head. He's got nice blue eyes, which you'd come to expect from Bumblebee. But the legs here, I mean, look at that. It's just completely unpainted. Like, that's that's not acceptable. That's that's not good. He's the only uh, last night figure so far that I think is bad. I don't, I don't, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this in the comments. I know I am. Probably going to get loads of dislikes. I don't give a fuck. You know, I'm going to get loads of Bumblebee fanboys just saying, oh, no, this figure's amazing. Get a life. But look at him. Like, I can't sit here and tell you to go out and buy him because I don't think he's worth your money. I think the mold itself is bad. 
and there's a new one coming up that is it looks a million times better so uh yeah do yourself a favor save your money don't get him these uh, ninja stars they can peg on his back on here they sort of just go on there but i mean uh, they don't peg out as to how they do in the movie um because in the movie they are where his doors are so they're sort of up here but i haven't seen a way to get those in that position so far so there's that you can also hold them but yeah this isn't doing anything for me guys i'm sorry to say um, here he is compared to Optimus Prime. You can see Optimus Prime is way taller than him. So he scales well, but again, there are plenty of other better Bumblebee figures out there. If you have the uh, the high octane Bumblebee from Age of Extinction, the uh, the black one that transformed into, I think it was a Datsun, that figure is amazing. I really do enjoy that figure. This guy, I'm not enjoying, to be honest. He's I transformed him a couple of times after I got him out of the packaging, and I was like, yeah, okay. So I just sort of put him on the shelf, and yeah, don't buy him. His paint detailing is its terrible. It's just, it's not worth your time, guys. So that is about it. Sorry this, this review was a little bit negative. I hate doing negative reviews, but I don't want to sit here and tell you guys to go out and buy a figure that I am not 100% behind. Um, yeah, it's just, it, not a lot of effort was put in here, guys, so there's that. Anyway. That is it for the review. That's basically all I can say about this guy. Wait until wave three. I think that comes out at the end of July, sometime in August. I don't know. Um, but there's a better Bumblebee figure coming from the last night. So don't waste your time with this. Don't waste your money on it. Cheers for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.